With our current weather conditions, it takes a real expert to create landscape that'll thrive. Riedel's Garden Center has the staff with the expertise of water requirements for plants, lawns, and landscapes that'll stand up to our changing weather conditions. With 25 years of hands-on experience, owner Darren Riedel will customize a landscape design and irrigation system to meet your expectations and our climate. It's recommended to protect your lawn using Fertilone products available at Riedel's Garden Center, an authorized dealer. Call or stop by Riedel's Garden Center today. Hello, and welcome to the Green and Growing Show. I am Margie Hammerschmidt, and this is Evelyn Zelmer. We are both master gardeners here in Ellis County. And today we wanted to share with you just a few tips about mulching. Adding a layer of mulch is one of the best things you can do for your trees, your bedding plants, and for in your garden. In addition to adding color and texture, to the landscape, organic mulches also have many natural benefits. And these include retaining soil moisture, helping to suppress weeds, acting as an insulator, a soil insulator, moderating the soil temperature around your garden plants, around the roots, minimizing soil erosion, helping reduce soil compaction, encouraging the presence of natural soil aerators such as earthworms. Organic mulch also improves the soil as the mulch breaks down into a top dressing of organic matter, adding nutrients by contributing to the availability of potassium and adding nitrogen, phosphates, and other soil nutrients to the soil. Also, it's an ideal way to reuse some of your recycled um, yard waste, such as your grass clippings and your leaves. Um, mulches are organic or inorganic. Some of the inorganic materials are your river, river rock, your shredded rubber, your pea gravel, and your organic mulches include things like your shredded bark, your bark nuggets, pine needles, uh, compost, straw, the lawn clippings, and the leaves, and also crop byproducts such as these cotton seed hulls. The soils around here are typically high in clay content and clay soils particularly benefit from mulches because they help the, um, well when the air is dry and hot and the sun bakes the exposed surface of the soil, it turns it into a, just a hard sheet and it keeps moisture from going in. It help, it's hard to re-wet that soil. The moisture tends to just beat up and wash away preventing that moisture from seeping down into the soil down deep where you want the roots. And by adding a layer of mulch on top of that clay soil, it keeps the soil loose and allows that moisture to um, soak in deeply where you want it. Um, and now Evelyn is going to share some practical application tips. Yes, so uh, your layer of mulch should be between two to four inches. Avoid making too thick of a layer because it can um, weaken the roots and eventually damage and weaken the plant. Um, refresh your mulch as needed throughout the growing season to protect the plants. In the late fall after the ground has frozen, you might want to consider adding some more mulch around your perennials to protect and insulate them during the winter months. Use a woody or bark mulch in your flower gardens and around your trees where you won't be doing a lot of digging. Then a lighter mulch material like straw is better suited for your garden because you can incorporate it into your soil after the growing season. Um, avoid mounding mulch around your tree. Give the bark space to prevent uh, rot, bark rot, disease, and insect problems. The use of mulch can enhance the beauty of your landscape as well as protect your hidden plant roots. If you have questions or would like more information, contact your horticulture agent at your local extension office. This has been Evelyn Zelmer and Margie Hammerschmidt reporting for K-State Research and Extension and Eagle TV. Stay tuned for a timely topic. Hi, I'm Elizabeth Harris with K-State Research and Extension Master Gardener Program. I'm here with your timely topic for today. 
Pollinators of all types, insects, birds, and bats, are in decline due to habitat loss, pesticide use, and diseases. Insects provide valuable pollination and a food source for wildlife. Insect pollination is essential for the production of about one-third of our food crops. And some pollinators, such as butterflies and hummingbirds, are just simply delightful to watch. For your fruits and vegetables, watch for insect damage. Uh, control the situation by removing the affected leaves. Employ a row barrier to create a, uh, to create a barrier, a spray or dust with organic pesticides. Consult your extension service for best practices. On your flowers, remove foliage from spring bulbs when it is yellowing and let it dry and then remove because it's useless to the plant now. Trees and shrubs, check for spider mites damage. A forceful stream of water from the hose can usually dislodge them, and that is all that is usually necessary. Reporting for K-State Research and Extension and Eagle TV, I'm Elizabeth Harris, Master Gardener, Cartonwood District, Ellis County. With our current weather conditions, it takes a real expert to create landscape that'll thrive. Riedel's Garden Center has the staff with the expertise of water requirements for plants, lawns, and landscapes that'll stand up to our changing weather conditions. With 25 years of hands-on experience, owner Darren Riedel will customize a landscape design and irrigation system to meet your expectations and our climate. It's recommended to protect your lawn using Fertilone products available at Riedel's Garden Center, an authorized dealer. Call or stop by Riedel's Garden Center today.